Hey, I'm here with Dave at Navcon. Yep, I am Dave from Catalyst Audio, and we're showing a new lineup of tube-based Eurorack modules. Um, we've got a VCO, a noise source, a mixer, a filter, and a VCA. And in the, the VCO and the noise source are particularly interesting because we use the tubes to actually create the sound, uh, as opposed to just creating the signal and then running it through a tube to warm it up these are actually using the tubes to create the sound. So what you're hearing right now is this first VCO, and these are particularly interesting because the VCOs function as a multi-vibrator by flipping back and forth between the tubes at audio rates. So each tube contributes half of the waveform. So if you take a look at the scope here, we've got a sawtooth wave, and by turning the balance control here, I can flip between the different types of waves. And essentially, it works almost like having a wave shaper within the VCO itself. And this is the, there's three different outputs. There is a sloped uh, wave output, which is what we're looking at. There's a smooth output. I'm gonna plug that in right there. And you can see, you can get essentially a sine wave like that and you can uh, then you can add the discontinuities to it and we also have a square wave output which has pulse width modulation but it's kind of an interesting pulse width modulation because again you are using the two different sides of the waveform to create pulses in different locations in addition uh, this oscillator is really interesting because it actually has a feedback path. So it's got resonance that's built in. So if I turn that up, you can see it changes the wave shape until eventually you start to see some self-oscillation happen. And that is all just within the VCO itself. So uh, it also has linear FM, a sync input, and uh, it has CB inputs to control both the offset and the balance. So moving on, I'm gonna take this guy, plug this into the output of the noise source. And what you're hearing now is this is essentially, the noise source here is created by running a high pitch oscillator into the tube to keep the tube in a chaotic state and you can control like the different types of noise. You can control all the way down into essentially like a, a tune pitch. What you're hearing is it's being sequenced right now from these inputs, but it can do everything from white noise to really unsteady pitch type sounds. I actually can't hear what it sounds like right now, <laughs> but- uh, I can hear it, I can hear okay. it changing, yeah. It, sound, it sounds really good. Um, we have a mixer, which I'm gonna plug into. And so what you are hearing there is the output of the second oscillator. And the mixer is designed so that it mixes the signals together and then the, it overdrives the tube. So you can see it like, pushing it up, it runs up into like a square wave and then back down into more what the original wave going into it was. Uh, VCF is not functioning properly right now, so I can't actually show that to you, uh, but it will be done in the next couple of weeks. But moving on, I'm gonna go back to running in here. This is running through this VCA so the VCA, again, has a drive control so you can overdrive the tube. It also has a Y input so it can be used as a ring modulator. And interestingly, it has another feedback control. So similarly to the oscillator, you can actually feed this back in on itself. And you can hear as I turn it up, it essentially adds like a distortion to that. And 
these are, this is the first time these, I think, have been shown. We're at KnobCon. Uh, we're also going to have these. Hopefully, everything should be finished and finalized by Synthplex in LA uh, next month. And then we're looking to hopefully have these out by January or February of next year. And what, what kind of cost are you, are you looking at? Cost hasn't really been determined yet. We're still, okay. still pricing. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much.